In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the proof of the derivative of x squared. I'm going to start by showing the graph of x squared and how a limit works. Then I will walk you through all the algebra. First, I'll draw on the function or the graph of x squared, the x-axis and the y-axis. There. I'll pick a point and label it x, and the y value will be x squared. I'll pick some distance and label it h. So the second point is x plus h. And the associated y value will be x plus h squared. If I wanted to estimate the slope of this function between these two points, I could draw a straight line because I know how to calculate the slope of a straight line, but there'd be some error, the red there. If I start to let h approach 0, the distance there, my estimate error becomes smaller and smaller. I draw a straight line, and the error, the red area, is much smaller than before. If I get these points closer and closer together, my error rate begins to fall until it's almost zero. And in fact, if they're almost touching, almost zero, the error rate is very low. This is also known as a tangent line. I'm going to spread these points out just to give myself some space and draw in a straight line because I know how to calculate the slope of a straight line, which is rise over run. I'm going to move the lines and the words rise and run, and this is what you're probably more familiar with. Nonetheless, the slope is rise over run, and the rise is x plus h squared minus x squared, divided by the run, which is x plus h minus x. Now I'm going to use a little bit of algebra. x plus h squared is just x plus h times x plus h minus x squared, and that completes the numerator. In the denominator, or the run, the two x's just cancel out, so I just have h. First, I'm going to take x plus h times x plus h. First, I have x times x, which is x squared, plus x times h, which is xh, plus xh again, plus h times h, which is h squared, minus x squared. And in the denominator, I only have h. x squared minus x squared, those two x squareds cancel each other out. I add my two xh's together, which gives me 2xh, plus h squared, divided by h. Now I can factor out an h in the numerator. I have h times 2x plus h, divided by h. These two h's cancel out, and I am left with the limit, as h goes to 0, of 2x plus h is equal to 2x. I'm going to show you that more formally. Since h is approaching 0, we can just kind of ignore it. That h is ignored, so it's equal to 2x. It turns out that the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. And again, this is the formula for the slope, that part of the equation. And graphically, it looks like this, where the f of x plus h is the rise and h is the run. I'm going to check my answer using the power rule. So I take the exponent, which is 2, and move it down in front and multiply it times the whole thing. Subtract 1. And I have 2x to the first power which is 2x. So it all works out. So as always, share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Google Plus, and Twitter. Other proofs below, the same idea below, links below. Subscribe, please.